taking a look here at what happened to that number two car. This was the, the remnants, very difficult to make out the picture, but that was the car of Thierry Bootsen after it had got involved with a crash with the number 66 Porsche. Michel Maisonneuve was in the Porsche. Very difficult to spot exactly what happened, how they came together, but that basically is what happened. Now, Thierry Bootsen was stretched away. It was a fairly big impact but I'm glad to say that uh, he was okay. He was taken off to hospital, but Thierry Bootsen is okay and no harm to him, but obviously a lot of harm to the Toyota prospects for winning here at Le Mans this weekend. That's two of their cars out of action so far. Just one car remaining, and that is the car of Ukiyo Katayama and the two other Japanese drivers. Thierry Bootsen then out during those night hours. We're and back the uh, we've, uh, to what's happening. We've spoken with Thierry in the medical center. He's been inspected by the doctors here. Uh, they, don't, they don't report any breakages or any injuries. Um, just to be safe, they're going to send him down to the local hospital here in Le Mans for a complete x-ray. But um, he's walking, he's moving uh, as, as normal. Uh, just a little bit upset, a little bit bruised, um, and very, very much disappointed. That was Gwyndolphin talking during the night hours when that accident happened to Thierry Boussin, telling us that uh, Thierry Boussin was in fact okay, but as he said, extremely disappointing news. They'd already lost the Brundle car. These are still some pictures from the night you're seeing. Some of the mechanics getting a little bit of rest, <laughs> that all-important rest. Absolutely exhausting, of course, going through the early hours of the morning. They've been working flat out all week.